Hey boys, back at it again with another video today. There's one thing that I want to mention, and it's the fact that um, this is not guaranteed to work on every system since things are different per system. So please do not come up to me and say it did not work with pitchforks and knives and act like a screaming Twitter addict who goes on the website for the next controversial take and ruins someone's life to get that sweet, sweet dopamine hit. Today, I am going to show you how you can get your Quest 2 working on Linux. The big question is, why the fuck would you want to do this? It sounds like SteamVR on Linux is only for goons. This is not necessarily the case. There may be really good reasons why you'd want to do this, and probably one of the biggest reasons is the Steam Deck release. But another reason is just the fact that you've completely ditched Windows altogether and you really just want to play your favorite VR games through Steam VR. It's completely possible. Not perfect, but completely possible. I don't care if you sold your soul to Facebook already buying the Oculus Quest 2. We already know that the highest market share for SteamVR users in terms of what device they use is going to be the Quest 2 because it's the probably the most cheapest like advanced device you could probably get in the market right now. Any device cheaper than this is going to sacrifice a lot of things. But we're not even going to go into the specifics of why the Quest 2 is superior in terms of how cheap it is. We're just going to go into how to get your Quest 2 running on Linux through SteamVR. So yeah, why don't we get started, shall we? So uh, now we're here at my desktop. Um, do not fucking use Google. Google is a privacy nightmare, but um, I'm just going to use Google as an example. And I'm going to look up something called ALVR. Now, you're probably going to see, like, a fucking stock right here. This is not what we're focused on, but we're focused on ALVR, which is a piece of software that allows you to be able to stream Steam VR to your Quest device. Um, so apparently ALVR has a Linux build that you can use. It's completely experimental, but it works somewhat. Now, the only things that are missing is, um, streaming audio and, uh, foveated encoding. So, um, those are pretty crucial features, but I freaking route my audio through my headphones anyway, so it doesn't matter to me, and it may not matter to a few of you, but, um, if you care about streaming audio, stay away from this for now. They're going to add audio streaming at some point, so just be patient. Anyways, let me tell you, the great thing about ALVR is that it's completely open source, so you don't need any sort of Oculus software to even do this. It is just straight up streaming SteamVR through ALVR to your headset with a client on the headset, which is, like, pretty sick, but, um, yeah. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build this from source, and um, there's a really good reason why you would want to build this from source. Because if you try and run the nightlies, which is literally right here, what ends up happening is when you run the nightlies, you'll get this weird error on your Like, it's just some weird archaic error. I don't understand why that is. In my experience, I've done a much better job building it from source, because building it from source, I, I, I really can't explain the details. But uh, building it from source is going to be the best thing that you're possibly going to do for yourself. So what you're essentially going to do is you're going to look at this and you're going to follow the instructions on how to build all this. If you've never really built software from source before, it's completely fine. Um, it's not the most easiest task in the world, but it's also not the most difficult. If you know how to follow instructions, then you're most likely going to get this right. So what you're going to essentially do is you're basically going to clone the entire Git, and I mean the entire Git, of uh, ALVR from the GitHub. And the way you can do this is you can simply just type in your little command line, your little fucking terminal, um, git clone, and uh, you can actually get the HTML or like the git from literally ALVR itself by going here and you can click on code and copy this entire link right here and go straight back to your terminal and you can literally just paste this bad boy in and you can clone it. But in this video, I already cloned it, so um, I'm going to clone it in another directory real quick. So I just created another directory for me to go into, which is a ALVR folder, and this is where I'm going to do the git clone at. If I can find... We're going to do git clone, and then we're going to paste this in here. And what this will do is it'll essentially clone the git right into your folder. And this is going to be the entire source code of the software that you're going to be able to build. And then once you do this, you're going to literally CD into this or um, change your directory into that. And that's what it essentially is. And this is the stuff inside of it. 
Now, there's a few missing steps before we get into the compiling package part, and um, it's missing a few dependencies. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go over here, and you're going to figure out what those dependencies are going to be. Um, this shouldn't be too hard if um, they give instructions on what the dependency should be, so um, just follow what you're supposed to follow. In this sense, um, on Arch, which is what I'm on, this is all you need to install in order to compile everything. So I'm essentially just going to go back into here and I'm just going to literally install this stuff. And once that's done installing um, everything, all you're simply going to do is paste one command in there and you've compiled everything. Um, there's no extra steps required. It's just very quick steps in order to follow. And according to here, that command is simply going to be cargo x task build server release. All you need to do is just type in this stuff right here, this bumble jumble inside of your uh, terminal. And now it's going to compile everything for you. As you can see completely on my end, I have no errors in terms of building this stuff. So um, two minutes of compiling and it's done. So all I simply need to do is um, I need to be able to run the executable inside of it. Now you need to make sure you have Steam VR installed on Steam, which is... Um, Probably the most obvious step because uh, you're running Steam VR through this. But you're essentially going to make sure that you have this installed. Um, this is really important. Oh, and uh, one more additional step that I forgot to mention. You need to get the client on your headset. Um, uh, there's an easy way to do this. I've seen tutorials um, recommend SideQuest. But uh, honestly, um, it's been such of a hassle for me to use SideQuest, so I've simply just did it over ADB, if uh, you know how to do that. But in order for you to do that, you need to make sure that you have a developer account with Oculus before you're able to continue to use ADB. I know I told you to um, stay away from the nightly part of it, but um, for the client, it may not matter at the end of the day, at least in my experience, because I've downloaded the nightly client and it ran just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to download the client of it, which is an APK file on your computer. And what I'm essentially going to do is I'm going to install this on my headset. Well, I already have, but I'm going to show you the steps to do it anyways. In order to install that APK on your Quest, you're going to literally need to install ADB on your computer. And um, through Arch Linux, you can easily just install this by installing the package. I think it was Android Tools. And uh, yeah, this is actually it. Uh, this is Android Tools, and what this essentially is is ADB, so... We can check if our device is connected to our computer, and um, our device is connected to our computer. Uh, I uh, essentially moved the client APK to uh, this folder for demonstration, but you would move your directory all the way to like downloads, for example, if you wanted to install this. So what I'm going to do is a simple ADB install on ALVR uh, client this. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to install this on your uh, Oculus Quest after you allowed it to uh, communicate with your computer. Once again, you're going to need a developer account or you're going to enable developer settings through Oculus before you do this. Because it's not going to allow you to do it if you're not a developer already. Don't worry, anybody can um, become a developer for Oculus Quest. Um, it's literally just uh, logging into your account through their website and enabling it. But um, I have essentially siloed an application onto the quest that you run first, and then you essentially run the server, and it's going to be able to do this through Steam VR. So uh, let's try it. From here, you're going to go to your ALVR folder that you already cloned earlier, and what you're simply going to do is you're going to go to build, and you are going to straight up run this executable. And what this is going to do is it's going to launch SteamVR with the ALVR dashboard. So what it's looking for is it's looking for a headset. And then all you simply need to do is you need to launch the ALVR application on your Quest 2. So I am essentially just launching this and what you're going to do after you launch it is you're going to click on trust on your ALVR client in order for it to connect. 
And now we are in Steam VR. As you can see, I got my quest controllers and I am able to launch whatever the fuck I want. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that tutorial has helped you today. Um, it sure has helped me as well. Um, it helps me get through the steps much quicker than I uh, normally would have uh, done. But um, the steps are getting easier to compile this. Um, it used to be a little bit more trickier, but um, now we have more clear instructions to do this stuff. So um, feel free and give it a shot. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a good rest of your night, day, where, wherever the fuck you are. But uh, yes.